My name is Miguel Saez, I go by Mickey, and I am a division chief and J7 director in acquisition. I was born in Puerto Rico, moved to the States back when I was around 10 years old, a few years ago. So, and I still have a lot of family, uh, fam uh, uncles, aunts, cousins, and nieces uh, in Puerto Rico. This past summer, um, I had, um, my mom passed away this summer. I had several family members that came to the funeral. It just so happened that it was a couple weeks before the hurricane. So I remember, you know, right afterwards, we were all anxious to contact them and hear from them. First couple of weeks, we weren't getting much communication. It was very frustrating. And it's funny because the way that we were able to communicate with a bunch of them the first couple of days was the older folks who still had line lines, the line lines were still working, but everybody, everybody who had a cell phone, they couldn't communicate. The towers were down, there was no electricity. So a couple of the homes within the neighborhoods, depending on what town they lived in, that had the landlines, they ended up being the communication centers for, uh, for them to get back to, to a lot of us that live here in the States. We, we were pretty relatively lucky. I mean, um, there was some damage done, you know, some lost uh, roofs or, or had some trees falling. No electricity or water for quite some time. Um, but I have family members, some of them are business owners, so they had generators and they were able to get, get moving right away. And some of them didn't. And some of them are still, um, living by candlelight in the evening. You know, in, as, as a kid, I remember the hurricanes were pretty much the same. You know, they come every year. Some of them are worse than others. They always seem to survive um, and always get together. You know, the same thing here in the States. When it comes to a, a time of a tragedy, everybody gets together and helps each other out. There's always going to be someone out there willing to help. There's many of us here and there who are always willing to help. Um, stay open-minded. Uh, there's going to be some instances, for example, the people that lived out in the, in the countryside, if you will, it's gonna, it was a little bit tougher to get out to them. But don't think that, we're, uh, that people are going to forget about you. And uh, just, just keep charging. Don't, don't give up because someone's going to be out there to help you. It's a tiny island. Uh, it's only 100 miles by 33 miles, but there's a lot of people there who are, who are great Americans and great citizens who will always continue to support this country and we're always serving alongside with many of the, many of the folks in the States. Very proud people who are willing to, to continue to serve. <laughs>